What's going on everybody? It's your boy Bardo here. I'm going to be trying to start a couple of different, I want to say like series now on this channel. Um, it used to just be just a podcast with me and my, my two buddies. Um, obviously we, we only made like two episodes of that. Uh, but for today's episode, um, it's going to be more of like a hot take. I guess I'll just call these ones hot takes. Um, I'm just going to talk about Patrick Line and why he's extremely, I wouldn't even say he's overrated. He's just not that good. Um, I mean, watching him so, so far throughout the season, and I am a Blue Jackets fan, so I mean, this is really coming from from my heart, you know. But uh, he can't separate himself from from the play. I mean, he can't create his own scoring chances. It's It's kind of embarrassing to see. I mean, this man, he, he skates around the ice. Like, I don't know if he's ever played hockey before. He, he looks so lost out there. But, I mean, I mean he, he has a great shot. I mean, not, not, I don't want to knock him on that. He has a really good shot. But that's not really the, that's really not the big problem. I mean, if in this league, if you can't separate yourself, you know, space-wise, and be able to create your own scoring chances, you know, you have McDavid that he's so fast and he, his his handles are, are ridiculous. I mean, he could break your ankles and create his own space. I would I would say you know Matthews. Um, I mean, there's lots of players, Panarin. You know, lots of people can create their own space, and that's why they're so successful in this league. I mean, we're looking at Line A. I mean, like I said, uh, he's a great shot. I mean. Coming into the draft, I remember he was saying he's an ex-Ovechkin. Even, no, even Ovechkin creates his own space. Just how deadly he is. I mean, it's not the same for Line. Even when he was on Winnipeg, I mean, and then eventually obviously got traded to Columbus and then signed that bridge deal, which I kind of hope they don't re-sign him. I really don't think he's worth it. Maybe just try to trade him now and try to open up as much cap and, and potential. I mean, this Columbus team is going to look good coming out uh, probably in the next couple of years. Uh, obviously, you know, we got Ken Johnson, Cole Sillinger, uh, Igor Chinnikov. You know, those are really the big guys. I mean, we got our young – all of our players are really young anyway. I mean, Andrew Peak, I, I think he's going to turn out to be a great defenseman. Same same as Jake Bean. Maybe Jake Bean's not going to be like that offensive defenseman that we have, but, I mean, we just need to be able to fill in the role of a scorer. Like, like when we lost Panarin – it, it, it was brutal for the Blue Jackets. Obviously, like, for the New York Rangers to pick him up. You know, that, that was, like, their missing piece. And, obviously, now the Rangers got, like, you know, all these pieces now in place. And But, uh, I mean, line A, I, I, I don't even know what to really say besides that. I mean, he, he really does need to to take the next step in his, in his evolution and create his own space. Because, you know, like I said before, you can't create your own space. It's kind of kind of you know a wash i mean you, you're not doing anything so i mean this is just probably gonna be like a really short video um just venting about line a um but in the future i'll probably try to do some more hot takes and um we'll go from there as well though um just kind of giving you a heads up on what i plan to kind of be putting on this channel um but i kind of don't want to end it there I'll, i mean to be honest i mean i could talk about the creating the space um, you know, his shot is great, like I've said. I mean, he has a lot of potential. It's kind of sad to see it wasted. It, it's kind of similar to when the Blue Jackets, they had Ryan Johansson on the team. He, on the ice, I mean, he couldn't really create his own scoring chances, but when he had the space, he was lights out. I mean, Ryan Johansson, I remember the first, I think the first game he got traded to the, to the Predators. He had an amazing shot just in the corner. Like, like if you have space, these guys can score. But this is not a league where th these defensemen and, and even forwards, they're playing an amazing defense. I mean, obviously some fans will be like, oh, their D sucks. Like the, you know, like the Maple Leafs. But, I mean, I mean that's a whole different story. And I'll, I could probably get into that in a different video. But, uh, I mean, I wish the best of luck for, for Line A. Hopefully, you know. You could somehow turn the page. And I don't want to just blame Line A. I mean, obviously, it's the Blue Jackets as a whole team that they're kind of struggling with that. I mean, their scoring is 
subpar. I mean, I just went to the New York Ranger game where they played them at MSG, and they lost four nothing. Shosturkin got got the shutout there. Um, and it's it's really just the same thing. I mean, there's no there's no fight in that. So I mean, they're not really keeping up in, in, against certain teams, teams that they probably could have beat. Uh, but yeah, this is just a little rant, little hot take. Um, and hopefully next time we'll probably try to get into maybe talk about why the Leafs suck, why they're overrated because they definitely are. Um, and I, I don't know. I guess we could try to, you know come up with ideas if you guys have any ideas or anything you kind of want me to to cover um i would say i have a lot of hockey knowledge i mean i live and breathe hockey this this is pretty much my life outside of work so and obviously playing some video games too but yeah hopefully everybody has an amazing rest of your day and uh take care